here for those teams that. The lineup here the for court. Charlotte. On the floor for the Nets. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Fires the three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Brooklyn has gone one of four from deep. Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over now. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. Here, you have to get that. Left. Duke's checked in for Brooklyn. Now in the lineup for the Nets, David Duke. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And again, no good by Brooklyn. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. From deep, MP. That one doesn't drop. And Brooklyn going the other way now. This game coming after a loss versus the Raptors. Yeah, they made a lot of plays, and they were in it until the end. Just couldn't do enough to get the win. And that is why coaches preach about the details. The margins in this league are razor thin. Six on the shot clock. Foul charge to Charlotte. Martin. First personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Duke. That shoots from the line. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. And he misses the shot again. Only two of seven in this one. And here's MP from outside. Hits the trifecta. Martin's got six points. Back-to-back -back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Pass to McGowans. Martin outside. Let's it go from deep. Connects from downtown. Nine points in the game. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. That'll count. It's good. It's good at the buzzer. Wow. Great job ending the quarter on a high note. That's the play that pumps up the whole team, and they'll try to carry that energy into the next period. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets going into the break up 12. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Fans, make some noise! And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a very convincing performance from the Hornets so far. It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks. Great stuff. On the court right now, second quarter for the Nets. We've got Nicholas Claxton. Also, Norman Powell out there. Ben Simmons is out there with Mikhail Bridges. Charlotte has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. It's Martin on the wing. Powell covers. Martin with the bucket. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Pass to Claxton. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Now another view of that incredible mobile one drive. <laughs> and with a drive like that, you have to ignore the scoreboard and just appreciate the energy he's still playing with. Now here's Ball. It's Martin on the wing. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. He was unstoppable. 
And that one, good. Williams has got his second bucket on the night. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. It's stolen by MP. And MP throws it down. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. And it's Simmons missing. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. And here's MP from outside. Claxton with a rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Martin. And that's off the glass and in. Martin's got seven points for the quarter. He has been a key factor for them offensively, scoring with consistency. Pass to Claxton. Up top, Powell. Three-pointer. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. And the three off target. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, out and that has a bounce. Out of bounds. Brooklyn. It'll be Brooklyn's ball. Ball. And the Hornets making a change here. Richards has checked in. Johnson, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin. Timeout call. The next call. Timeout. 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 Start it. Threatening drive. What's the value of breaking the paint? VA dribble penetration is so important, particularly in today's game. With the spacing and the great shooting on the perimeter, if you can get to the paint, one, you may score at the rim, but if the defense collapses, now you have an opportunity to find an open shooter from three. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters. He's checked in for Williams. And a change for the Nets. Powell's checked in. And Ball's over to help. The three. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Ball at point with Rozier next to him. That's the backcourt. Nick Richards out there with MP. That's the Hornets five. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Second personal foul. And the third team foul. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Powell outside. Stolen by MP. They've got to tighten up the ball control. That pass was just too easy to defend. And again, it's Charlotte converting. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. It's Bridges on the wing to end the run. Hornets with the rebound. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. Ball finds Martin. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Controls the rebound and the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. The Nets have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Here's Bridges. A reliable offensive contributor. Putting up almost 14 a game. To the left wing. This one for three. Book Knight with a rebound. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter. But he's determined to stay after it. Martin right side. Kept alive. Ball. 
And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. <laughs> Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Out left to the wing. Powell outside. Pass to Banks. Here's the three. Powell's shot is off. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. In a major drought, need to find some sort of momentum. Shot on the wing. Again, MP missing. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. Shooting for Brooklyn at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. He's checked in for Brooklyn. Bridges comes in for Powell. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Simmons. And another shot. It's rebounded by Charlotte. On the floor for Brooklyn. We've got Nicholas Claxton. Ben Simmons is out there with Mikhail Bridges. And it's Duke in at the shooting guard position. Just continuing to pile it on, refusing to let up. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. Oh, they get a hand on it. Bridges outside. Has to Duke. Launches it. That one no good. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. From deep, MP. Rebounded by the Nets. Claxton's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. To the paint. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. From deep, MP. The shot, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Hornets. Simmons. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And so hard work pays off with their 26th win of the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for MP. And he was getting buckets all night long, giving the defense that work. And the NBA always tinkering with the rule book, Richard. Any rules you'd like to see change? The uh, Richard Jefferson effect? No, well, I, a lot of people ask me about the four-point shot, and I just tell them... Do you see where Steph and Clay and Damian Lillard are shooting from now? Where are you going to put a four-point shot? All we're going to do is reward those guys for a skill that they already have. And I think sometimes you also have to look at the impact that it will have on the game of basketball. If you just have kids trying to shoot these shots or trying to see where they can come from, then you have no idea what it will do to their skill impact. So I, I don't think that that would be a good thing for the game of basketball. Martin with the bucket. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Martin. Now they're closing it out. It's always nice to perform like this, especially in front of the faithful home crowd. No one near him. Offensive rebound. And he goes in for the dunk. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. 
And let's take another look at that exceptional drive, thanks to Mobile One. Yeah, a double-digit deficit. They're going to have to play better. They need more of this kind of aggressive play. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Dayron Sharp. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. From deep, MP. And the Hornets, another three. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. It's a shame, really. If they had been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. Drops in the three. Martin's got 36 points. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. And so Charlotte takes this one by a big margin. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks. game last night. You know, as the regular season, Greg, winds down, you can feel things start to change around the league, can't you? Yeah, I mean, some teams are... Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Vucevic. Wendell Carter comes in for Bancaro. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Franz Wagner. And Anthony subbed in for Suggs. So on the floor for Orlando, you've got Carter. He's out there with Robinson. Anthony is out there with Bridges, and it's Lawrence in at the one. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his wake. Shoots it up. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Anthony, no one around. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Last outing for Charlotte. They won that game against the Nets. Martin for three. Buries it from three-point range. Martin's got five. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. 
rough game defensively. I mean, they lost a lot of the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. I'll tell you this. If you're going to allow your opponent to make that many shots, you have got to be as solid on the offensive end, and clearly they were not. Matthews, he's checked in for ball. 122 left in the first quarter. Robinson kicks to Bridges. Pass to Anthony. Here's Ortiz. Orlando moving the ball around. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And this, to me, is where Mitchell Robinson is comfortable operating. Because of the length and size, he can put pressure on defenders. Orlando shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Going to the line, shooting two. That one is off. Uh, the one challenge Mitchell Robinson has had through the early portion of his career is a little bit of foul trouble. Nice to see him get to the line for a little bit of payback. One thing we know about him, he's got to stay on the floor to be effective. He hits the second from the line. And the Hornets with possession here. Four-point game. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Ortiz, first personal foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. James Booknight at the line for two. First one falls for him. And the Hornets making a change here. And he makes both free throws. The Magic trail by six. It's stolen by Martin. Puts it up from 17, and he connects with the jumper. Martin's got seven points. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Pass to Ortiz. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first. And the pass to Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. You love it when a point guard is eager to reward open men. And Cole Anthony delivering the ball on time and on target. Three-pointer, Martin. A three-pointer is right on target. Martin's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Hornets. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Six second difference between shot and game clock. The three from Anthony. They grab their own miss. And then Carter with the jam. Let's remember, Jr. Wendell Carter Jr. is a force on the offensive glass. Use that height. Use that athleticism, young sir. Matthews passes to Martin. He gets it up. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Brooke Lopez. Book night out there with Matthews. Then it's MP. And it's Nicholson in at the three, the small forward. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Remaining in the first half. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for Charlotte. That's a two from Martin. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Vaults dishes to Robinson. Bridges outside. Back to Robinson. 
The slam dunk by Robinson. When you love to see the unselfishness of Miles Bridges. Just another guy has a better shot. He's ready to move that basketball. Greg, you've been talking about the best conditioned players in the league, and Miles Bridges is right up there. Yeah, Miles second in total minutes played during the 21-22 campaign. Only Mikael Bridges, no relation, played more. Here's Martin, and he uses the glass on the layup. Martin's got 14 points for the game. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. And the foul called on MV. That is his first foul of the game. And the Magic making a change here. Magic substitution for Tees. And uh, 101 left now here on the second. Passes it to Ortiz. Here's Robinson. That one's not going to go. Good work defensively by Martin. Again, the Hornets score. Yeah, a big part of this run here has been their ability to score from mid-range. The Magic trail by 11. Pass to Ortiz. Bridges, no one around him. Once again, off the mark, Orlando. And it's the Hornets ball. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Martin from outside. Orlando grabs the miss. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. Hornets. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. First personal foul. Four. Team foul. The Magic have missed two free Orlando. throws in the game, going five for seven. Anthony at the line. Two shots. And the first one drops. Cole Anthony, a guy who has just tremendous feel for the game. He's obviously been around it from the time he was very young. Just understands where the ball should be at all times. Good passer, aggressive scorer. So Anthony nails both of them. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Wing shot on the way. And there's Martin. That's good on the assist by Matthews. Martin's got the lead up to 11 now for the Hornets. Anthony, the pass to Ben Carroll. Here's Carter. And they have their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their defense has been active and effective. We come back right after this. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the... Changes here for the Hornets. Landale's checked in. And Martin subbed in for Williams. Then for the Magic. Carter, he's checked in for Vucevic. Bridges comes in for Bancaro. And it's Fultz in for Wagner. And so in the game for the Magic, Wendell Carter is out there with Miles Bridges. And there's Fultz. Then there's Suggs. And it's Lawrence in at the two spot. And doors for teams trying to establish culture and institutional values. What makes that possible? How does that work? I think that begins from ownership through the front office and then down to the coaching staff and then finally to the players. But Kevin, we know this. It can't be just talk. Show me, don't tell me. You have to be accountable to your teammates and to the organization. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Robinson didn't play basketball, but a seven-inch growth spurt in the eighth grade changed things. He fell to the 36th pick overall in 2018, but his physical tools have made him a presence. One key to his success, he says, just run the floor. If you're the first man down the court, you can get the ball. Kevin, that sounds pretty simple to me. It does to me, too. Keep it simple and use that athleticism. David, thanks. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now is massive. 
And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for the Magic. Orlando moving the ball. Miles and it's Bridges. slammed in by Bridges. Uh, Miles Bridges up in the air above the rim. That is a show. Look out below. Martin from outside. Craps in the tray. Martin's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Hornets. He's hit four now from behind the arc. Two in each half, making an impact. And they pick up two. Bridges. Bridges has got six here in this quarter. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Booknight passes to Martin. Over Bridges. And Charlotte again with the bucket. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Well, we know Markel Fultz can get cooking on the offensive end, but his responsibility to get the guys around him involved, nicely done. Martin from outside, and the three ball is good. Martin's got 31 points. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. Bridges. Nicholson grabs the board. Nicholson's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Martin. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And so it's Charlotte leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they've drank, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And we'll be back with you shortly. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Look night out there with Matthews. Then it's Brooke Lopez. Then it's MP. And it's Thor in at the small four. So that's the Hornets five. Wagner outside. Pass to Ortiz. Now here is Robinson. And it's Anthony, top of the key. Shoots over Matthews. Second chance shot. And Bull with the lay in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Martin. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Martin's got 38 points. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Straight rim rocker. It looked like, Greg, for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. <laughs> And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Hornets? The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up, and boy, have they. I think the other thing they've done exceptionally well tonight is shoot the mid-range and take advantage of those opportunities. Anytime they're given a look, they have delivered. Here's Martin. Got it. Good job in the low post. Martin's got 40 points. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Anthony, the pass to Ortiz. Here's Bull. Over Martin. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And Charlotte again with the bucket. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Anthony, the pass to Wagner. Now Bowl, the three ball. Doesn't get it to drop for him. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Martin from outside. No good that time. And Orlando the other way now. Anthony taking his time here. Tries again. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Martin's got his fourth rebound in this one. 
Now the pass to Lopez. Shoots off the step back. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Lopez has got his first basket of the night. And it's Anthony with the ball for Orlando. Wagner outside. Back to Anthony. Feeds it to Bowl. And the dunk by Bowl. That's just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. Three-pointer, Martin nailed from three-point land. Martin's got 45 Martin. points. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, Two particularly in this game. second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Now here's Book Knight. It's Martin on the wing, covered by Anthony. And it's Martin missing. Orlando's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. They get a hand on it. And now Martin pushing it up. No one back to stop him. That one goes. Count it. Martin's got 47 points. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Charlotte. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three oh, after Anthony. three, it just seemed to pay off for them. And so the hard work and effort paying off tonight, putting another win in the books, that'll be win number 27. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over a conference foe they'd split their previous two games with. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Martin. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Here's Martin. Orlando grabs the miss. Wagner outside. The feed to Robinson. And finished off by Robinson. Well, Mitchell Assisted Robinson will take it to the rim with authority every chance he gets. Three-pointer, Martin, again, what an avalanche. My goodness, 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Stolen by Martin. And Matthews kicks to Martin. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. Magic ball. Substitution on the court. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth. So no problem for Charlotte as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Hart.